Are you serious? What? I still believe there's hope for revival for America. I still believe there is hope for America. I'm still believing in the power of prayer. Get a cup of coffee. Get a Bible for a moment. What? Get ready. Let me just first share this story. You have to expose the truth so that you can unveil the power of God. Let me just show you right here. A Florida family is facing fines for hosting a weekly Bible study in their home. Are you serious? Are you serious? According to city officials, Shane and Marlon Rossinger of Venice, Florida, are facing $250 per day fine for hosting Friday night prayer and Bible study gatherings that are attended by as many as 10 people. Just 10 people get together, open a Bible, and read it, and study the Word of God together, and the city is threatening to find them. It, quote, it is difficult to understand how it is illegal to have a prayer meeting on a Friday night with a half a dozen people. But it's all right if I invited the same group on Monday night to watch Monday Night Football. The Rossingers are also facing a fine for putting a small sign in their front yard that reads, Need prayer? Call the number. And they put their telephone number. It's a weekly Bible study, said Brad Dawkins, president of the Pacific Justice Institute. It's the same kind of Bible study that occurs in households across America. The Pacific Justice Institute is representing the Rossingers as they fight back against the city's attacks. Dawkins said they are hearing a number of assaults on home Bible studies across the nation. This isn't just an isolated incident. And you don't think it's a problem unless it comes to your home. Well, folks, they're burning down the Middle East right now. They're burning down the rioting in the streets of Europe. It's coming to America unless somebody rises up with the voice of a trumpet. We need to sound the alarm in the holy mountain. Prepare the way of the Lord. Listen to me. Something biblical's going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Now, uh, listen to this. They are having a specific problem with family solely because they're having family and friends over to read the Bible and pray. According to Fox News, they may be fine in some tyrannical parts of the world, but it's not okay in the United States of America. Pam Johnson, a spokesperson for the city of Venice, sent a statement to Fox News defending the city's actions. And noting that the cases against the Rossingers have been, have been continued. In other words, they're not backing down. What? Here's the reason. Quote, the Code Enforcement Board has continued both cases. Although Mr. Rossinger was found guilty a few months ago of a zoning violation. Johnson said, it has not been determined at this time if the use violation has been abated. No determination has been made for the sign because the case has continued. <laughs> you know what? Let's go. Quit the lying. Quit the lying. This is a push. And it's happening around America to limit freedom of speech, to shut down our right to assemble. They're arresting street preachers on the streets across America. They're shutting down Bible studies. They're coming against the word of God. Open prayer in restaurants will be next. Prayer in hospitals will be next. I'm telling you, it's coming. Matter of fact, they've already told the military chaplains they can't say the name of Jesus when performing a funeral. What? The Bible told us these days would come. You might say, no, Pastor Begley, you know, this is just uh, isolated incidents. These people are not doing things like they're supposed to. That's why it's happening. Listen to me. Grab your Bible. 2 Timothy 3. 
The Bible says in verse 1 through 5, This know also in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. And the scripture says in 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 3, now Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies with hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. God had created to be receiving with giving of them which believe and know the truth. And for the time will come in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And then the Bible gives us hope in Acts chapter 2, starting at verse 17. I'll read. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, your old men shall dream dreams, and upon my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth, beneath, blood, fire, and vapors of smoke. What? The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But then... Also, the scripture tells us in Isaiah 62, verses 11 and 12, Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. Pray for America. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for Israel. Pray for your souls. Pray for your families. Hebrews 9.28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Oh, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. No wonder it says in Luke, there shall be signs in the, in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with great perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear of those things that shall come upon the earth. Mm. But when you shall see these things, then shall you see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of power and great glory. And then he says to look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Oh, are you saved? The earth is going to reel to and fro like a drunkard. It shall be removed like a cottage. The transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. It shall fall and not rise again. Are you saved? They're coming against our freedom of speech. They're coming against our prayer life, Bible study, but they can't come against the church for the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Oh, they will come against us. They will try to stop us, but they can't shut down the glorious Shekinah glory of God. Repent. Give your life to Jesus. Send me a personal email if you, you want me to help you. Do it right now. 
I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I 